Hi, today I'm gonna show you how you can build your application and I'm gonna prepare it for deployment. So this is a perfect timing to learn more about static and dynamic rendering. So let's see what it is. Go with Sloba. Before I create our build, I wanna make a couple of adjustments. So if you have been following along with the rest of the tutorials, you can make these adjustments together with me. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna remove this middleware file because I don't want any middleware functions to execute any redirections that we can have. The another thing that I wanna do is let's head over to our Prisma page. So let's open the app, Prisma, and inside of this page.js file, what we can do is we can remove the creation of the tasks. So at the moment, whenever we navigate to this page, we are creating a new task. I wanna remove this. And at the moment, I just wanna show the all the tasks that we have in a database whenever we navigate to this page. So this is all that I wanna do. So let's save this file and we can close this. Now we can build our project so let me close the Explorer. But before we run our build command, inside of the package.json file and in the scripts here, in the build command here, I wanna add npx prisma generate command. And this essentially is gonna generate all the Prisma files and it's gonna help us to communicate with our database. After that has been done, then we're gonna execute Next.js build. And we're gonna compile all the pages and files that we have. So now let's save this file and inside of our terminal, we can run our build command. So npm run build like this and just click enter and after 10 or 15 seconds this build has been completed and let's see what we have here so as we discussed in the introduction of this video we have both static and dynamic pages so circle represents static pages and lambda represents dynamic pages and as you can see here prisma is a static page which essentially means that during the build time this page has been generated and whenever you make a request to a server it's gonna get served to you statically so same as if you were to use html and css and just serve that page on the other hand we have these dynamic pages like to-do list for slash id where whenever we make a request to this page request to a server has been made and then new page has been generated so if you have changed the data inside of your database this page is going to get rendered differently but as you can see here to-do list is also a static page but here we are calling revalidate data function which essentially updates the data on our page even though this page is static so let's see what actually happens when we run our application. So in order to run this production ready application and not the development application, we can just run the following command, npm run start. And now we can open our application and see what happens. So if I refresh our application, let's head over to our home page. And now we can go to, uh, let's say to-do list page. Here we have only one task, but let's say that we add a second task it doesn't matter what whatever we add so let's just click on the create task and here as i discussed we are revalidating the data on this page even though this is a static page and new data gets updated here but if you go to our prisma page we can see that we only have this by mail so this is the data that was available during the build time of the application and whenever you make a new request to this page and it's always going to get served statically so if you go back to our to-do list and we can add let's say third task like this and we create a new task this doesn't matter this page is going to get revalidated and this prisma task is always going to remain static but if you go to a to-do list page and if you go to let's say edit page this is a dynamic page which essentially means that whenever we make a request to a server it's going to get re-rendered once again but how we can update our prisma page the only way how we can update the static page like this is to rebuild our entire application so let's do this Let's go to our terminal here and let's stop the server. So let's stop the server and let's clear the console. And here we can run again our build command. So npm run build and let's wait for the build to finish. And once the build has been completed, once again, we can start our server. So let's go and run npm run start and let's head over to our application and let's now refresh. So if we go to our tasks page and if we refresh now, we can see that the new version of the static page has been generated during the build time. And now we have these three items. But once again, if we update our database, uh, this page is using revalidation and it's gonna get updated by the Prisma one it's gonna remain the static. So essentially you can see here that static pages should be used on pages where there is not a lot of dynamic data. So for example, you're creating a static blog or about house page, which doesn't change that often. But whenever you have a dashboard with a lot of dynamic data, maybe analytics data or whatever it might be, or like a to-do list, 
you want to use dynamic pages or to use revalidated data function, which we are doing here. And this is all. In the next tutorial, we're going to deploy our application to Vercel.com. So see you in the next one. And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.